Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a giant spring cleaning on my front porch. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're a turning girl, it is so good to see you. I cannot wait to get into this video. I'm not gonna do a long intro, but definitely don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and let's just jump right into it. So first what I'm gonna do is take everything off the front porch. You guys know I just finished my Valentine's Day porch decor. If you didn't already see that, definitely go check it out. And I used my hot glue gun again to put some of the decor up in um, on the walls here. Now, I will say that using a hot glue gun definitely test it out in certain areas to make sure you have the type of paint that will withstand it. This paint did fine, but to remove it, don't peel it off, use rubbing alcohol. I used 91% rubbing alcohol to get all of the, uh, it just literally peels right off. So definitely if you do ever get any glue on your house or on your paint anywhere, just rub a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol on it and it pops right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the stuff from our Halloween bat swarm that I had here and some of the stuff from Valentine's Day. And then I'm gonna pressure wash everything from the ceiling. I've got the ceiling fan here I've got a pressure wash all the way down to kind of like the steps to the enter into our porch but I am so happy you are here tell me in the comments down below have you already done your porch cleaning or are you just getting started So since we're doing a clean and decorate with me, definitely stick around till the end of this video so you can see how the porch turns out. I have to say this is my favorite porch I've ever had in spring. Like it is just so cozy, so perfect. I love everything. But I will link every single thing I'm using today from my cleaning equipment all the way to my decor down in the descriptions down below. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay It is so satisfying to watch all of this dust come off of the house. It reminds me that I probably should have the entire house pressure washed for the spring, but for right now, getting this porch bright and shiny and white and new again feels so good. I love how this turns out, you guys. I wish I could just fast forward and show you everything, but I'm gonna continue to do this, but I'd love to know in the comments down below if you guys are getting ready for spring on your front porch. I know Easter is coming up in a month. I'll have a ton of new stuff coming coming out in the month of March. I've already got my whole calendar set and everything is gonna be so beautiful. I'm really excited for that. I also have another video coming out in a couple of days. It's like a really beautiful spring tablescape to just brighten up your house and kind of get everything beautiful again. But tell me in the comments down below, what do you get decorating right now? Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How'd you do? 
I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, and got time. I'm not broken, not broken, not broken. So when we remodeled this house um, in 2014, we put some outdoor speakers on our porch and I have to say this is my absolute favorite part about this house, that and the Dutch door. We have a really awesome community we live around. We live in Northern California and one of the reasons I kind of want to get my porch ready is it, we're starting to have really beautiful days, but it gets super chilly here in Northern California at night. So I'm going to be showing you uh, what I got for the front porch so that it would be nice and warm and cozy at night, but then I can still be nice and cool with the ceiling fan during the day. But I love having the music on. Every Sunday we open our Dutch door, we turn music on and our neighbors come over and we have wine or the kids, we all go for walks and we go play. Um, it's always kids are at our house or our neighbor's houses. And it just feels like, honestly, it feels like Main Street you know, America, which I haven't felt in a really long time, but lately it's just like, we're all kind of getting together and living just a much simpler life. And I'm just loving it. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the trail I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or that I'd love to know in the comments down below how you guys are doing with your 2021 goals. Those of you who participated with me in January for our 30 day challenge, um, definitely give me a thumbs up on this video and tell me down below, how's it going? I definitely feel like this year, my goals are a lot larger than they were last year. Even though I feel like last year I started my channel, my channel really started um, around uh, August. So I'm still really new. I haven't even been on here for a year. So this is a friendly reminder to definitely subscribe if you are new. Um, I would love to grow my channel. I do a lot of, as you guys know, decorating on here and cooking on here. And I do um, some cleaning and organizing and it really is just a fun place for me to share the way we kind of do things in our house and hopefully it'll inspire you guys. I know a lot of you have been sharing your um, inspiration, decoration, uh, porches and tablescapes and recipes and all the things that you're learning here on this channel with me on Instagram. So if you want to come and follow me over there, I would love to have you at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. And I am just, it has just been so fun. I feel like I went from kind of only having friends here where I live to being able to have friends all over the world who all love and value the same things I do. So, um, if you love homemaking and just want to be true to who you are and have fun with some other ladies, this is an awesome place. And I'd love to have you. Yay, it's time to start decorating. Okay, I just picked this rug up at Hobby Lobby. 
It was 50% off, you guys, and I absolutely love this. I was looking for something hardy enough that could withstand the porch, but what I've been noticing is my rocking chairs, when we rock on them, they start to kind of glide all over the place, and they're... I needed something to kind of get them to stay and I found this rug and I could not be happier. I will definitely link this down below. I was just amazed at the quality of, of this. I was actually looking at one um, on Pottery Barn that was like five times as much as this rug. I think I got this for 70 bucks, um, but I'm super, super happy. And I am so excited that it fit. I mean, you guys, it like barely fit in here. So I was pumped when it like, it all came out perfect, but I love this rug. So the other thing I'm gonna be adding to this area are obviously I'm gonna put our rocking chairs back and then I'm gonna put our bench back that I got from Wayfair. I'll link these rocking chairs down below. They're from Overstock and they are on sale again. So definitely pick these up. You guys, I've had these for five years and they look brand new. All y'all know I love to like keep all my stuff super clean. I love taking care of the things that I have, but like rocking chairs don't last forever. And these, I mean, I. I'm beyond happy with these. And then the bench I picked up at Wayfair and I just needed something simple that could double as a seat if we have guests over, which we often do. And then these are just new cushions I picked up from Target and I think they were like 15 bucks. I just wanted something a little bit simpler. And then I got these pillows at Hobby Lobby as well for $10 each. Um, I had a coupon for them and they were also on sale. So I like basically stole them. Um, I love the way these turned out, but I think I'm going to trade them out for the ones I have up in my bedroom. Tell me in the comments down below, do you like these or did you end up liking the um, darker ones that I used to have on my bed? So this farmer's market, fresh and local, I actually saw at Hobby Lobby as I was leaving and I went back to get it. I thought this would be perfect to tuck in some blankets. We've been having lots of wind recently, so I thought it'd be great to kind of roll them up during the day and night when we're not using them. And I just thought this looks super cute. I'll also link these blankets down below. I got them from Amazon. I think they're super cute. I thought the H, you know, like home, but they're also like the Hermes ones if you guys have seen those, but I love them. They they take a while to get here so definitely get your order in quickly because it takes like four to six weeks for them to arrive um, but I kind of just thought it was a nice black and white touch to the porch and then I'm gonna put some very simple flowers in here to just kind of brighten it up for spring if you want to talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face it is written across your face if you wanna go out, we can go out You can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side now Just hold on a bit more Cause I know you only see the rain Not the rainbow Deep down I know you're strong Give them hell, be the proof them wrong Just hold on a bit more Cause I know you only So the wreath came from Home Goods. I've used that many, many times, and they're pretty much in everyone's Home Goods right now. I've heard a lot of you say you've been able to find it, so definitely check out your Home Goods. And then these beautiful flowers are all from Trader Joe's. They were $2.99, and they're just daffodils, and they're just beautiful. I thought they would kind of create like a real touch to this area, but it was so windy this day. My little daffodils kept blowing over, but anyway, I ended up moving them inside, which you guys will see in my next video because they really weren't feeling it out here, but I just kind of, for the sake of this video, wanted to make it look super cute. And this particular night, we are going to be having dinner on the porch. And this is my brand new, new air outdoor heater. I don't know if this is outdoor or indoor, but let me tell you, we've been using this every single night for the last two weeks. And this is my new go-to. It gets pretty cold once the sun goes down and I absolutely love that thing. I will link it down below and I think I have a coupon code for it too. Anyway, I'll link if I do. And then this is our happy place. I got that on Amazon, I'll link that as well. 
And thank you so much for watching this porch decorate with me for spring 2021. I hope you guys love how simple and just cozy and wonderful this porch turned out. And if you are new, please definitely subscribe as my channel grows. I would love to have you here and be a part of it. If you are new, tell me in the comments down below, where are you from and what do you love most about decorating your house? I definitely love just the memories it creates and just how exciting and new and fresh everything can be. But thank you so much for watching and I have a lot more coming up. So definitely stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.